been a while since I came in. I feel like it's time, dude, of finally coming back around here, and, and I was hoping to get to see you guys and see what's going on. See, we got some trolls hopping, hopping ship here, going over to TikTok, hanging out, and also coming over here on YouTube. Uh, that's interesting, man. I hope you guys are just secret lovers uh, behind the scenes. That would really uh, make my life a lot easier, make me feel a lot better about everything. Life gets tough, man, and, and it's it's been hard for me the last couple weeks. Things have been great. Uh, you know, YouTube has been going so fantastic, man. It's just been such a blessing. Yo, what's up? Uh, yo, what's up, guys? Good to see you over here. Yo, what's going on? It says that there's zero people in here. Why has YouTube got to do me like that? I see the, I see the comments come on. Yo, what's up, my people, man? It's so good to see you guys, dude. Uh, so when I see familiar names, I see Haley. You know, I don't know if that's spelled differently than I think my mod from TikTok, man. But dude, if, if you guys are my people from, from TikTok over here, my YouTube people on TikTok, uh, that means everything to me, man, and, and I've been ducking out, dude, I've been laying low, I've been <laughs> working through sobriety and everything, man, I'm not perfect in this world, <clears throat> and uh, I felt myself falling apart there for a little bit, so I'll get withdrawn, dude, and, and I stepped away from social media, it's the first time in two years, really, that I've, I've had a great week, you know, with my girl, she came back from San Francisco, and, uh, and, and then just, I fell off, man, I fell off, yo, what up, DJ, what up, real, uh, uh, <laughs> yo, what's up? I'm Mr. Beast. Yo, thanks for being here. Is that, is that you, Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast, is that you? Are you watching my stuff? I love you, man. Yo, what's up, Devin, dude? Uh, thanks for being here, man. Thanks for the love, dude. I'm endlessly trying to, to do do better in this world and do better by myself, man. And uh, but you know I do struggle at times, and, and so yo, this is my guy Michael. Yo, I'm swing, I'm coming back around, bro. Michael's with me on all platforms. Yo, I love you guys, dude. I'm coming back around. I'm feeling strong. Uh, what's John 3.3, 3, brother? Uh, recite it for me, man. Uh, Jesus responded and said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless someone is born uh, again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Yeah, maybe that's an endless pursuit as well, too. You know, just really striving for that, dude. I always got to be born again. Uh, you know, and I'm, I'm working on it every day. But in some ways, uh, I'm struggling with alcohol. Yo, Haley, thanks for being here, man. Thanks for swinging in and saying hi, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I was just live on TikTok. I had an amazing TikTok live today. I'm trying to get my momentum back, man, and just just coming out of a bender, really, just being a dumb, being a dummy, and uh, trying to not be such an introvert. Trying to to get the content and and get excited for the road. Uh, I got stalled up a little bit. I was having problems with my solar generator, and I just got the par, uh, just the the plug in for so I could get it fully charged. Right now it's a hundred percent. I'm gonna be packing things up. I might get one more day of content here, but really I'm gonna be taking a trip down south, and I really want to be more engaged. And YouTube is like I want to have a, a primary focus over here, man. And and and. I don't want to lose myself, man, is really what it comes down to. I'm trying not to lose myself and, and the struggles of life, dude. <clears throat> and uh, I have big things, and, you know, the only thing that's going to hold me back is me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, so it feels good to be feeling strong today and, and uh, to be recognizing the highs and lows of life. Uh, I'll give you the, the example. You know, just even going out busking and having, like, an amazing day. <clears throat> you know, say I make a lot of money, have like a great experience, that adrenaline, it's like hitting you so hard. And then, uh, you know, when that's all said, I had an amazing live on TikTok. And then, you know, you end that, you pack it all up, and then you start to come down. Like that high of everything, the excitement of busking, of it all, you start to feel that come down. And so many times I've just numbed it with alcohol, and, and just, it's like habitual, or it can become like a bad habit and stuff, you know. Uh, yo, thanks for the love and the music, Chase. Uh, I'm strong, bro. I'm strong, and I've I've done my time, man. But I fall short sometimes, you know. And I I keep trying, bro. At the end of the day, that's all you can do. And so uh, I just always want to be in here feeling strong. And uh, but I don't want to lose myself in it. I don't want to lose uh, working on this stuff, man. And and trying to keep things going. Uh, the road is exciting, and it's gonna be a fun, fun journey, dude. I promise you that. I'm gonna need you guys there with me, and I really mean that. Like, these lives mean everything to me. I was just live on TikTok for way too long. I meant to jump over here sooner. I'm feeling nervous in some way, you know, I psyched myself out about even just coming over here and hanging out with, like, my, my smaller crew over here, dude. Uh, I psyched myself out in that context, man. It doesn't feel so random with just all these people coming. It feels like you, like my connected people. Like, you guys are the main small crew that's gonna be popping up in here, dude, that are gonna, like, define this, this uh, the nature of things moving forward. Stopping by Nashville? Yeah, man, I'm going to be down in Nashville <clears throat> uh, soon, 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 soon. I could be there in a lickety split, man. I don't really like working and busking in Nashville, but I want to get some more content. I want to hang out with my boy John. 
I'd love to meet some good friends down there, man, and and just just try to open my heart to the world and 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 meet some people, man. Uh, you know, just I got some big things that I just need to go pursue, you know, and that I need to to do for myself. They're big things for me, even just uh, extending myself and not being such an introvert, being so shy. Uh, like I said, I got big plans, man. I'm not even some done name dropping. I'm just ready to meet some of these people behind the scenes a little bit. Just be grateful and happy and be brave, right? Uh, you look great. Thanks, man. I'm feeling strong today. Uh, I'm in Texas. Yo, what up, Texas? Close to Nashville. That's cool, man. What's up? What's up, metal guy? It's good to see you, brother. Uh, people are weird. Uh, we are weird. We're weird creatures. You know, it can be hard. It can be... The struggle over here for me is, you know, there's a lot of negativity and I want to be able to feel strong. If I'm if I'm hammered or going through a hard time and I'm like reading comments, yeah, I'm going to end up replying to some of them. It's just that's not worth my time. And just seeing a lot of the, the negative stuff sometimes, it can be hurtful, dude, when, when you're struggling, you know, internally and stuff. Trust me, I'm strong, so don't phase me like that. But when you're facing your own internal battles, you know, and you're just, you're, you're struggling within, uh, it's just important to, to step back and you know disengage see what life's all about <clears throat> and uh you know me stepping away from social media has nothing to do with that or just kind of stepping back for a week i didn't post on these platforms for the first time in a long time and uh, i just don't want to lose my rhythm uh you know i don't want to get bored uh i don't want to repost the same old content i'm ready to go get some new stuff i wish i had a videographer somebody to film for me uh, my boy came and filmed for me today. That was fun. We had a boss TikTok live. I'll tell you about it in a second. I'm not in Vegas right now, Randy. I'm going to be back soon enough. I uh, hope I get some friends out that way. I hope I bump into some people that want to film for me, man, that want to be my friend that I can just open my heart to, dude. Uh, you know, I'm looking to meet good people in this world. You get what you project, right? You know, so I'm trying to meet good people in this world. <clears throat> uh, I haven't monkeyed around in Atlanta, bro. I haven't. Uh, I have a, a friend that has as a busker. He did work in Atlanta for a long time. He said it's rough. It's a rough area. Uh, but I, you know, I've been like near Helen. I've almost went. I almost went there last year just to just to go. Yo, what's up, England? What's up, guys? Hope everything's going well across the pond. Uh, I love my UK people, man. I'm excited, dude. So I have a rap song that I'm gonna drop here. I've been holding off on it for a while. It's like it's not feeling. Uh, it's a little too dark. It's like very Juice World slash like. Maybe a little flow bots or something. It's a little too dark. I didn't really feel like pushing it at this point. Yeah, Helen's awesome. It's a cool little spot. Cool little, like, uh, they, they do the Oktoberfest there. I kind of wanted to go back and play some banjo there. You know, it would be the spot. I didn't make it there this year, but we've just been working on life and, and working on our heart. Oh, Haley, I hope you have a wonderful night, dude. Thanks for swimming in. Uh, Chelsea, I haven't been up to Toronto. You know, I got in trouble at the border when I was 19. That's story time stuff, dude. These are like, you know, YouTube things. People do story time and stuff on YouTube. I got in trouble when I was going to, trying to go to Canada to bus, trying to go to Toronto when I was 19. Uh, that's 14 years ago. <laughs> I was just carrying a little bit of weed, man, in this old beater car. They just, you know, flagged me over and then I was in customs all day. It was wild. <sighs> And uh, got my little deportation paper things from, from Canada. Yo, what's up, Pac-Man? Yo, Haley, have a wonderful night. Stay up. Yo, what's up, my playboy brother? Uh, <clears throat> yo, dude, I'm, I'm so glad that my shorts... And please never hate, man. You know, I'm trying to keep the content flowing. And, you know, my songs are my songs, man. You know, my heart and soul is my heart and soul. I'll never learn a song, you know, if I don't feel like it. And the songs that really stick with me ones that I can just go out and play that are my set and everything, that's like my heart and soul. That's like part of me. So, you know, I try not to force anything. I try not to force anything like that. I don't force uh, playing cover songs. I don't force any of that. We might step it up a notch here soon. I haven't learned a cover song in over a year. I haven't learned a cover song in over a year because I haven't wanted to. And so, but the, but the energy is here, you know, I'm feeling it, the, the time to work on a few things, focus on some stuff over here. I'll, I'll be doing this more on YouTube. I'll be posting as many clips of Oasis, Wonderwall, and just using those keywords for our shorts, just hoping to catch a pop, keep the train going. What you do is you do what works. Keep it going. You keep pushing. And if YouTube Shorts is where it's going to be for us with those keywords, what was it, Wagon Wheel and, and Oasis Wonderwall, some of those videos, getting to replicate those and do those in a good light. Once I get somebody to help me film and stuff down the road here, 
will help uh, just us continue to train to, to move forward and then try to bring in this longer form stuff. I got this new iPhone, man. I'm, I'm, I put everything I got into everything here that we got going on, you know, invest in what we got. Uh, so so I, I could film with the iPhone, you know, just, just sideways, you know, like this, whatever. I can get content, edit it up. We can do like little vlog styles. We can do different kind of little content. We can create ideas together, things that we can really do solid. I'll figure out how we can do comment, reply videos. I don't really know how we can make like a video of those over here. Because I love doing comment replies. Comment replies are like my favorite thing to do. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And so we could even just make that a whole thing for longer form content. I gotta figure it out. Anybody who loves doing YouTube and stuff, man. Hope to meet you along this journey with me. Uh, you know, I'm looking to meet people that want to work on this as hard. Uh, with me as I do, you know, we all got to have our, like our, our people, you know, like the show Entourage, man, want to bring up your people. It's so funny. I like this, man. I'm so happy to have you guys here. I got 50 of you guys in here. I love that, man. Play like this. So earlier today, yo, salut, my brother. Uh, <clears throat> so sorry, man. I'm, I, I was just trying to get back into the comments. Found you from a short. That's how we're, we're pulling it in, man. The, the short form stuff. The short form stuff. Hands down, posting as many shorts as you can a day. Like, at least four or five has worked, been working good for me. And then just getting a couple good ones rocking. So, you know, if it seems repetitive, if you're like, I don't like this guy. It's repetitive. Dude, I'm trying to do what's working. And trust me, that will work. It will help us to continue to grow. Especially if you guys are there trying to support me, man. Dropping some comments. I try to zap up in there, dude, and do comment replies. It's a lot, especially when I step back for like four or five days. I was just in the dark, dude. I was not on my phone. It's in darkness. I was not on at all, really. So I was just, I didn't want to respond to comments on any platform at all. It was the only time I really tried to step away like that. I just had to for a second. Just to regroup and just trying to trying to get boost myself back up here a little bit so we can really get the train going and make some stuff go down here. Have some fun. Mm. It's coming. Those behaviors, yeah, there's gotta be, man. Yo, what's up, Dooley? <sighs> Yo, what's up, Legal? <clears throat> I appreciate you, man. Uh, Edna, I'm doing great. It's a great day for me, man. Even just, just, you know, I'm not perfect. It's, uh, I say this with shame, almost. You know, I say it with shame, just, like, falling down, feeling the struggles there for a little bit. Been feeling a lot, a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, just struggling with, with alcohol and, and just, just coming out of a bender right now and feeling good. You know, four days sober right now. Tomorrow will be five. And that's exactly where I want to be right now. And, you know, it's just so easy to get caught up in the bad behavior, the repetitive behavior, the cycle. You know, it's just as good to break it every time you can and to keep going. Yeah, it's my guy Michael. Get out there. We're going to hang, bro. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to do the same thing and travel the world. You know, just don't ever let anybody ever tell you you can't. I think that's super important. You know, it's just like people uh, don't don't think that that you can, you know, and and just believe in yourself. You can. <clears throat> uh, do I drink? No, I'm not right now, man. I'm trying my best not to. I've been sober this year, did six months, and then came back. I was dabbling a little bit. I was feeling strong too. I was working out, eating healthy, but then I slipped. I started to slip, man. The change in the weather messed me up too. So you start to realize this as you get older. 33, man. So as you get older, you start to feel that. And you start to recognize all those little triggers and stuff. <clears throat> so I was live earlier on TikTok. I wanted to tell you guys about this. It was a boss live. Today, my strategy worked perfectly. Okay? So I was so pumped to go at this like this. 30 years clean up the subs, yo. Oh, dude. That, or are your years clean enough to subs? Cool, brother. That's, that's good, man. <clears throat> Some stuff. I don't, even, I don't like any of that stuff, man. So it's hurt me. <clears throat> yeah, Honda, I'm still be ripping and stuff, you know what I'm saying, dude, like always, man, but <clears throat> just, just trying to find that balance, you know, not need more excess, uh, especially with the alcohol and stuff, you know, so just, just working through it, it's good, uh, yeah, yeah, alcohol is one of the worst, man, it can get you, but, you know, I, I still, you know, it's a guy like that, fun too, but you can really hurt yourself, and I've been hurting myself, man. Uh, for a long time, dude. You know, I used to be covered in psoriasis, head to toe, dude. Uh, you know, I could do a whole segment, or I, we could do a whole channel, or essentially, we could do a whole 
you know, I don't know if that'd be the right place for us to do it, but, you know, just eating and being clean and healing psoriasis naturally. You know, I've learned from some creators on YouTube that helped me realize that in my life, dude, that you can, you know, heal psoriasis and stuff like that or really, you know, do stuff for yourself and uh, staying away from the liquor and the alcohol and, and eating clean, like healing your body. It's important stuff. <clears throat> the world needs to, to know. Uh, that's my hard. Uh, surgery done back in May. All the foods I love uh, to eat, I can't eat anymore. <clears throat> so I've been sticking with fruits and vegetables. Dude, yeah, seriously, fruits and vegetables is where it's at. I pretty much, my birthday week, I kind of went ham. And I, and I was just kind of eating whatever I wanted. Still am in a lot of ways. I haven't really cleaned it up yet. But my skin has gotten bad. You know, I wish I could show you. I, I'm, you know, embarrassed. I don't want to show you. You know, that's just how I feel. But it's just like I got psoriasis like on my chest a little bit right here and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's just it can come that quick. As soon as you step off your game, man. And, and just, just goes to show how, how important fruits and vegetables can be. But I still like the gold cheeseburger and a steak and everything, man. It's just it's tough. It's like anything else in life. <clears throat> oh man, I was hoping I could dive back into the comments. But no, I really appreciate being here with you guys. So I wanted to tell you about this TikTok live, anyways, because it was really awesome. My strategy went totally perfect today. <clears throat> what I did was my game plan was say, yo, what's up? There's Alex. There's my my lovely girlfriend right there. I miss you so much. <clears throat> uh, thanks for seeing the comment. It made it pop back up. What made you get into busking? Um, how do you avoid monkey bugs while busking? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I quit my other my job to go back to being a full time busker during COVID, and it was the big re biggest reason was because I did not want to. Uh, I didn't want to die doing something I didn't love, so was, I would rather have died out on the streets. And uh, I never even got COVID. <clears throat> it's crazy. Uh, get red blood, bulls for your blood, G. Yo, dude, I can't help it. It just comes out that way. I love you, Alex. <clears throat> I miss you. Thanks for uh, giving me some time. Normally, I'd be chilling on the phone with Alex right now, hanging out, trying to get back into rhythm here so so I can be live, hanging out with you guys, doing stuff. But today was a prime example of getting back into zone. Food is medicine, dude. It really is, bro. But today, so it just went so smooth. I did this comment reply, okay? I just busted it out. It was like a Putin thing. I was like, America, yeah. <clears throat> it's my job. He was like, oh, you know, <clears throat> I hope you guys were there and saw that. But so I was like, I, I did this negative comment reply, posted it, went live on TikTok immediately. I don't even remember how many people. We had up to like three, 4,000 people uh, at one time, maybe even more. It was wild. 150,000 people came swinging through that live. We were like six, 7,000 uh, followers. And then that TikTok uh, got like 900,000 views, dude. So it was just like the formula, the strategy implementing today just went so awesome, dude. And uh, that was just, you know, putting your mind to it, wanted to go a certain way and seeing it perform and do well. And uh, that's literally how it went. That troll got roasted. Was that funny though, dude? It was just like so on point, man. It was just great because like, his name was Putin and stuff. And it was just, I was like, yeah, it's the American dream right here. It was 5,000. Yeah, we tapped 5,000 at one point. That's awesome. So that's just things going smooth, man. And, and you know, what I'm trying to do is get the content going live over there while filming at the same time with a couple other cameras and uh, trying to <clears throat> trying to build that content for reels and stuff. I chopped up a lot of content earlier. That's kind of the game plan right now to keep that train going at least. Give me a little uh, cushion so I can get on the road here with Mr. Milo. And get in it with the van. He's a good boy. And uh, go, Mr. Beast. Have a great night, brother. Uh, yo, what up, Derek? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, Dooley. Not feeling too bad, bro. Uh, better being here with you guys. And uh, better than I would be if I was drinking. I'm trying to build myself back up here. I want to feel strong for, uh, you know, I do a couple things here that I've been saying I'm going to do. So I'm just trying to, to get more social, man, honestly. I'm very not social, dude. I'm just very to myself. So just trying to come out of that bubble because it's in me. And just wanting to meet people in this world and, and build those friendships that are, that are meant to be. <clears throat> and so, you know, in the midst of the, the TikTok live earlier, ugh, Punched a big old hole right in the drum. 
you've been in Louisiana. I have, man, but not a long time. Ten years ago. And I haven't ever worked New Orleans. Uh, I just kind of rambled through uh, my way to Texas. I really wish I would have worked it. But yeah, I totally shattered this bad boy. So I'm going to put another one of these things on. That's good. Nice cat or dog. That's my cat Milo. That's my cat dog. That's my other cat dog. So we're doing it like that, dude. Ah! I'm gonna try to make this like a routine. I'm trying to get back in this system here. Like I pump out this longer form stuff a little bit. And uh definitely keep you guys around, man. I hope to, dude, and build on this with you guys. 14 months clean, dude. Never thought I'd be able to do it. Yo, absolutely, dude. It's so doable. It's so doable, bro. You know, it's just trying to stick with it, man. It rocks, homie. Uh Bob, what's up, bro? Sending good vibes your way, homie. Yo, thanks, stinker. Dinkers. Thanks, Stinker Dinkers, man. Thanks for sliding up in here, dude, and saying saying what's up, man. I appreciate it when you guys just even swing in and say, I don't really know how the YouTube lives work. I guess maybe if you guys are subscribed or if you guys got your notifications on, maybe you guys get the notification. You guys can pop in. So, dude, even when you guys just come swinging in saying hi, that means a lot to me, man. And I'm sorry if I don't ever catch it because sometimes I'm just like, I'll just be missing comments. I'm notorious for that. Some people get really angry about it. You guys give him a thumbs up. Just help him, man. Uh, I won't ever busk in Albuquerque again. Bad luck, dude. I don't know all about that, man. You're scaring me when you say that. I haven't messed around in New Mexico much. I've heard that Albuquerque's a bad spot. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a hot spot there, though. You never know. Uh, what up, Weaver? Uh, you speak so much truth and explain it all rationally. What it's like being a real person in this life. I think it's so easy for us to just judge each other, dude. It's so easy for us to judge each other. It's so, you know, easy to judge uh, in so many facets, man. And so, you know, just tr always reminding yourself that, dude, that we can't be judging each other. Even the trolls, the people that are here saying, and I'm grateful that my, my good people are here, but, you know, all the nasty comments and stuff. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, they got stuff going on in their lives, too. Or else they wouldn't be over here dropping all these mean, nasty comments and stuff. So you just got to look at it like it ain't nothing, uh, you know, everybody's going through something. You just got to kind of look at it like that. Uh, Oklahoma, bro, are you going to be, are you in Tulsa area and stuff? If you stick around, dude, it'd be awesome, man. If you guys stick around and, and you catch me rambling, uh, if you catch me rambling, man, anyways, I, I like Oklahoma. I found a really cool boondocking spot up there at like a, a water reservoir man i drove i was like really late like three four o'clock in the morning i mean we were like i was out of gas like in my head i wasn't out of gas but i was so tired i couldn't eat. i just wanted to find a spot to sleep I drove way out in the middle of oklahoma man and just hoping that it was going to be a bomb spot and so happy to like swing up on that spot I was so tired and just feel how cool it was waking up there i stayed there for a couple more days uh, just because it was so chill. It was like a camping spot next to this water reservoir. Uh, nobody was there monkeying around. There was like one other guy sleeping in a tent. It was just rad. Uh, I like those kind of spots. You got some ticks there. It was like you got some ticks in that spot. Yo, Luke, thanks for sliding in, bro. Yeah, it's easy to judge. A lot harder to understand. Right? Right? You know, Alex got it on point there. And, uh... You know, it's just, it's, it's so true, man. You just got to try to, you know, it's 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 easier to judge than it's understand. It's like the simplest like way of looking at it. Uh, admitting you ever had uh, addiction these days is the same thing as saying uh, you do do control. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> yeah, and you know, just people will come at me like that, though, too, dude. Uh, just, just me being my sober self. That's just me playing music, bro. And there's nothing to do with me being on anything or anything. The thing about me is, man, if I'm going to drink or do something illegal or something that I shouldn't be doing, I am not going to show my face around here. You know, drinking is one thing. Sometimes I'll get wasted and I'll be on TikTok, but if I'm doing anything that I shouldn't be doing illegal. And you're not going to see me performing music ever, dude. I'm going to be hiding in a hole, just not feeling good about life. That's how it works. So to just be myself, my sober self and then to feel attacked you know like every video you've ever seen that's gone viral or anything there's no anything in that it's me sober in my heart and soul and, you know so some people just take it the wrong way it's always gonna be haters <clears throat> but it's like one of those things that makes you feel like sometimes you just can't win in this world you know it's hard to be understood but people get it and you can't 
let it get to you, you know? I'm not saying it at all. I've just seen some of the comments before I added it myself. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you're saying, dude. I know exactly what you're saying, brother. I appreciate your comment. Uh, but I, no, I'm saying that, yeah, just seeing those comments, man, it's just like, dude, it's hard. It's hard to see that, man. And, uh, just seeing those comments, it's just like, it's, it makes it even worse, you know? It makes it more hurtful, which, which is just the catch about life, you know? You can, I guess you can't take it personal, right? You can't let other people's shit affect you. That's hard. That's hard to do, man, at a time, especially when you want to be loved, you know? You want to be loved. You want to, you want to make everybody happy, you know? You, you want to be a people pleaser. I've always been a people pleaser, you know? I want to be cool, you know? I ain't trying to start no, no fire, that's how it goes. My dad and I love seeing you in Ocean City. Yo, what up, Wink? You popped up on my YouTube feed. Thank you for stirring up the good memories I have of my pops in OC. Yo, thanks, man. That means so much to me, uh, you swinging in here and saying that to me, dude. Like, that's what means everything to me in this world, bro, is that kind of comment right there. Like, anything I've ever done in my whole life, the path of busking, to, to have somebody reach out, you know, and just be like, dude, you know, just thanks for some of those good times, uh, some of those memories. And that's not, you're not the only one, man. So it's just that, that extension, that's the weird, like, spider web of, of influence and, and sharing love and positivity in the world. I appreciate that, man. <clears throat> uh, I appreciate that, you know, because I've always laid low, dude. I've always been so quiet and to myself. You know, I street perform. I was the gold man for a long time in Ocean City, not on social media at all. And so just, I felt like the sad clown. I've always liked sad clowns. Uh, you know, I used to have a nice sad clown painting. I think it's back there in that closet. And uh, it's just a representation of, of not feeling heard, but trying to make people laugh out there on the street. I'm excited to do some more gold, man. We'll crush it over here. I need some more. I need somebody who wants to film do some gold man content with me. As I get on the road, we're going to bump into one of you guys. Somebody's going to be like behind that camera. We're going to get out to San Francisco where my girl's at, Michael's at. We'll do uh we'll do the gold the gold man on the Golden Gate Bridge. <clears throat> Go mess with some people. We can get some awesome content. As long as I got some love in this world, you know, from my friends and people that want to be on this journey with me. That's the fire inside. You know, I feel like I was losing that. <clears throat> it's 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 feeling like, you know, you just you wanna you wanna be in it with your people, man. You know, I want that so much. And uh, it always will be one way or another. When we be uploading our music to Spotify, I have this rap song that I've just been waiting to drop. I've been feeling some type of way about it. It goes a little hard. Uh, some of you guys might have seen it on TikTok. It's pretty dark, man. It's pretty dark. I don't really feel like blasting it over here right now. <clears throat> I don't really feel like posting uh, shorts. It's a leased beat. I bought the beat uh, for two hundred dollars. You know, if we, I need to see how this works and make sure it works good. I already know it's gonna return just fine. Well, that's what I'm kind of interested to see. It's how uh, it performs and make sure it goes smoothly. Fling, that's the number one thing. But I really like this beat, and that's why I was willing to jump on it uh, in that regard. Uh, later, it's Power Bunny. Oh, thanks, man. I hope to meet you too one day, dude. Uh, duly have a great night. Goldman and the Golden Gate. It's coming, dude. It's coming. I'm going to struggle with alcohol. I saw brother one day at a time, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a struggle. Dude. It can be. And, uh... It's, just, it's weird, man, you know, it's just like, I, I didn't think I was going to have a drink this whole year. I thought I was going to make it the whole year. That was my goal. And then, you know, once I finally drank, I, like, let myself down. But, you know, you just can't stop trying at the end of the day, no matter which direction you go down. And, like, trust me, dude, like, I like to have fun, too. So, it's it's tough. It's a tough balance. Uh, you know, not having, like, a responsibility or... or consistent uh work um you know to, to having a stable job you know is, there's pluses to that you know as far as the routine helps me man i have always appreciated that you know a good routine solid it's hard for me at any given time when i'm out on the road i have a good routine typically i you know no matter what you end up finding some kind of routine so when you find that routine you're always working on it it just makes life easier makes it more exciting <clears throat> i'm excited for that uh, but all you can do is just take it easy. Uh, let's crush my first keyboard warrior being this is about the, <laughs> the press of the button. But bye, bye. y'all. I love you, buddy, man. I'm so grateful to have you here, <clears throat> dude. It's so cool. I think you're like my official mod. I don't even know how we did that. I don't even remember how I did that, bro. I'm so grateful you're my my, my mod up in here. Yo, can we do that? Can we have several? Like, how does that work? 
Oh, sweet. Cool. So we can get some of my main people over here as mods. You know, I still wouldn't even mind bringing uh, Michael into the Discord here and, and putting him on our TikTok mod list. For sure. But yo, so I got Alex modded up. I got my girlfriend out, modded up too. My brother Michael modded up. Sweet, dude. I was wondering about that. Will you be coming near Charlotte? Yeah, I will, dude. If you're still in here, Jerry. I don't know how long ago you said that. Uh, sorry, I missed comments and stuff, but, uh, seriously, bro, I'll definitely be swinging through that area. I'd love to be able to meet somebody who would like to film with me there. I have another friend there. I don't remember if I got his number. Tuck, Tucker, I met my boy Tucker there. I don't know if I have his number saved right, but I like the area, and I'd like to get some content uptown. It's not great busking, really, but show me around. Show me some cool spots, dude. I'll uh, be hitting that area, you know, on the way to Asheville. <clears throat> Yeah. Bring him in. Yeah, we will. We will. Uh, we'll definitely bring him in. I'm just going to talk to uh, let everybody else know and introduce because he's just been a great bro. Appreciate it, man. Sincerely. So like I said, I'd like to make this. I'm, I'm trying to gauge. I got to gauge. I, I kind of went off, so I don't know how consistent we can make this, man. I, I'd really love to hang out with you guys here more. And especially once I get everything packed up, I guess tomorrow I uh, get the van around a little bit more. Maybe we could make that little thing. And I want to do this routinely. I'll be posting longer form stuff, dude. Even if you just let it play a little bit, man, I always appreciate that. You just jam it out a little bit. I have like two hour, hour and 15 minutes. I was just like from the live the other day, like everything. I just let it go. I don't even edit it or anything. It's just raw. Just let it go. Uh, I'm just excited to, to be trying to build over here our, our repertoire. I'm going to see you down here in Phoenix. Dude, I'm going to be down that way. I'm going to be down that way 100%. You're an excellent musician. Thank you for bringing some joy in my life. Yo, James, so I'm definitely going to be doing some work with uh, a couple of musician friends of mine that I want to be pumping out more tracks with. That's the game plan. I'm trying to find the people in this world that want to pump out some tracks with me, consistently put out some good work, and, and do some stuff like that. And so I'm going to be down in southern Arizona. Uh, it's a little outside of Phoenix, probably a couple hours, but <clears throat> I haven't actually been down that far, uh, so I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm really looking forward to, to connecting with some people down that way. I'm hoping it won't be too brutal down there for Milo. Uh, you got a Sprinter van, dude. Now I just got a Ford Transit Connect uh, that I built up here, man. It's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Figure out a good decoration for the bus and basket. Anything near Kentucky one day? I still want to do Louisville, man. I've taken that route down through Ohio and stuff. Uh, going to Nashville. I'd really like to hang out in Louisville and get some content. I don't know much about the area. It just looks like a cool spot. Uh, uh, I think that we should check it out. I need my partner in crime. I need somebody to, do, to go with me. Uh, I need a videographer, man. My boy just did some filming for me today. It turned out pretty good. Uh, just during the live and, and just having that content in motion, especially with the busking and stuff is great and trying to get some people along the way to, to can help with that. You got to find that rhythm, that routine, that heart and soul. Let's find it, man. Going to make it happen. Yo, thanks, John. Thanks for the love on the sweater, homie. This is a, this is a biggie small sweater. Is that biggie small sweater? Oh, like so. I got to put this drum head on. Uh, I'm gonna put this drum head on, so I busted the hole. Like I said, straight busted that mofo, dude. So <clears throat> I need to put a new head on it. I'm, I had a blanket in it. I'm gonna leave the blanket out, which is gonna make it loud, but it's gonna have a good. It's gonna go back to that good old clap, clap, clap. It's gonna have a beast. It's gonna sound nice, dude. Once I get it, once I get it honed in a little bit, uh, and I leave the uh, the blanket out, it's not gonna be muffled. It's gonna go hard. And uh, we'll probably bust out the Jerry blanket again and cover it up with the Jerry blanket. We'll bust out some scarlet begonias or something finally. But he asked me for the dead stuff. Uh, yo, what up, Chicago? Uh, hope you never come to Chicago for me to see you. But, dude, I've been wanting to check it out, honestly. I've been wanting to check out the pictures there. I mean, it's such a big city. <clears throat> Intimidating. <clears throat> what up, Alaska? How's your arm healing up? Yo, my arm's good, man. My arm's good from the guitar and everything. It happens uh, pretty much every time I go out, dude. It's just, it gets a little scabby even and, and cut up there. But I need to start wearing that little armband thing. That's what you're referring to. Yeah, but so this is Milo, man. I don't know if you guys really met my mother. Ugh. 
He's my boy. He's going to be in the van with me. Like, we did time in the car uh, going across the country. He's he's a good car cat, man. I never thought that he would be the guy that, that could handle it like a boss. One time I lost him. Uh, <laughs> I lost him in between Seattle and Portland. And literally, like, it was just pouring rain. And he, like, hopped out of the car and he, like, ran off. I was looking for him f for, like, 12 hours. And I was heartbroken. Heartbroken! I was so happy to find you. But seriously, man, I was so broken. I thought he was gone forever. And so it's just, I need to get one of those tags. One of those tags for him, like those Apple tags or whatever, so so I can always keep track of him. Baby, you gotta remind me to do that, please. Will you please remind me, Alex? Uh, yo, what up, Dylan? Look at my people in here. So, dude, this is what I gotta do. I gotta get back in here. I wanna make this routine. I just want to see how these perform, though, too. I want to see how these go. And uh, just just as far as... I don't know if it's overdoing it, you know. TikTok is one thing. You just go live all the time. But from publishing these, I don't know how much we can go, how far we can go with it. And uh, but what it'll turn around at. All's well, guys. All's well. Cats are awesome. Yo, he's my guy. Air tag, yeah. Air tags. I got one on. Uh, your, 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 your animal? Dude, that's sick, man. I need to get one of these things. <clears throat> So, so I can, don't don't lose him, and if I do, I can at least pray and hope that I can track him. Cause, dude, uh, when he was gone, I was like crying. I was running around in the woods, crying in the rain all night long. Milo, Milo, mm, could, didn't come. <clears throat> I almost gave up, man. I almost gave up. I ended up going down this private driveway. Like it was, you're not supposed to be driving down. I drove down it just as a last ditch effort, and he was like in the shed. I was, like, sobbing with, like, happy tears. The last thing I wanted to do was lose my cat, like, outside of Portland. I would have never been able to live with myself. <laughs> yeah, it's put on Shiloh, too. See, they get, yeah, we got to put them on both of them. For real. Thanks for the love on the sweater, man, Bill. <clears throat> oh, I appreciate you guys. 8, 19, 22 is my last drink. Nice, brother. That's good. That's great. Great starting point, bro. All you do is keep rocking. You know, I've fallen short. I've, I've pulled it, gone off the way, and come back. I'm here, right? Starting starting off humble. Starting off humble and just uh, feeling strong right now. I needed it. Took me a little while to come back here and get back to myself. I needed this, man. I needed this. Uh, I'm pumped to be... I got I got upset when my solar generator wasn't working, too. I was feeling stuff on the home front. I was feeling a little upset. I'm sad. Uh, little problems. And so, you know, I was just feeling like I wanted to go. I couldn't. But we're getting there. Patience is everything. I'm so happy I've stayed. Didn't just be feet real quick. It's always those things. It's also the rut here up in New York right now. It's hard for me almost not to be, like, out there hunting right now. Because it is, like, peaks. It's coming around right now. It's getting ready to go down out there in the woods right now. And so I backed off of that this year. It's for the sake of trying to doing this trying to keep my mind right but uh next season I, I won't let another season fly by without going out there and being rambo it's just how it goes for me I spend a lot of time out in the woods too that's really what i like to do I love being out in the woods doing outdoor stuff yeah no one knows I appreciate you guys swinging in. Uh, I feel like it's been a great little live. Uh, I could stay here all night and hang out for real. Like, I'm not kidding you. I've done some long laughs. I think what well, was the longest one I probably did on TikTok? It was in Las Vegas, I think. It was in Las Vegas. Uh, homegirl was, like, going nuts. Uh, it was crazy. She was going absolutely bad shit crazy. It was, like, terrible, dude. She let my cat out like, in, the middle of the, in the middle of Las Vegas. It was just scary. I was trying to get away. Uh finally got her to, to get out and go into her, go to her cousin's house whom i love i love those guys man i can't wait to see those guys again but you know she wouldn't get she she refused to get out of the car i mean i was like please just go stay at your cousin so we can let this shit cool down finally finally dude after like 24 hours of hell <laughs> 24 hours of hell uh you know, she, she went into her cousin's there, so I got to, like, dip out in the car. It was, like, the most peaceful, relaxing thing ever. I went live on TikTok and played the banjo for, like, I don't know, eight hours in my car. 
it was just whack, bro. It was so whack. It was so just, you know, as as awesome people can be, you know, uh, good times and everything like that. But dang, dude, I don't got time for any of that. I need some level like balance. Can you do a live song right now? I was live on TikTok earlier, bro. If you're following me on TikTok, man, that's kind of where I was doing it. It's a little late here. Uh, you know, they're downstairs, so I don't really want to bust it out and be noisy with the music. I'm trying to cut, speak down a little bit because it is, it's like an old farmhouse. Uh, so, you know, I try to be respectful of them and stuff. I do miss having my own crib right now. I miss having my own spot. I used to go ham on the one-man band all night on Facebook Live. And so it's just like, I do miss that. And it gives me, misses, it's a space where I can practice and like try new things and stuff. I'm just kind of stuck in the old ways because I don't really, you know, have a way to practice and, and try new things or feel comfortable like that. It's hard to feel comfortable doing that on the road too. Finding that comfort like that to really expand and grow and learn. Uncle. I recently lost my killer job. Uh, with the corporation bang over job. Dude, I'm sorry to hear that, man. It's never the end. It's never the worst case scenario. You know, there's always light one way or another. Even if it's not through the job itself, even if it's not the money, there's light to be had otherwise from that job, you know, aside from that job. Uh, if you're catching my drift. Looking forward to your next drop buttons. Dude, it's tight, man. I'd love to show you a little bit. Uh... I showed a little bit. It's a little, it goes hard though, man. It just goes like wicked hard. I don't know if you've already heard it or not. <coughs> almost goes too hard. No, it's almost like too much for me. When you going to Cali soon, brother? What's up, Bill? I'm gonna be out that way, homie. Uh, definitely not too far out. I'm just gonna take my time. I'm gonna get on my zip over there. It just depends on, on what, what we're doing, how I'm feeling, you know. I used to have this, like, I used to have this, like, whole thing, man, where I couldn't, I had to go spot to spot and, and busk enough money out to, to keep going. I also, I didn't feel like I was doing my job right. You know, that's such a bad mindset to have, you know, and, and some places are just not worth hanging around at, you know. There's, there's good spots to just go to. Even just to drive straight to Las Vegas, start grinding is a smart plan. It's not a bad idea. But, uh... Just just taking your time, going where you want to. I want to drive across the country that way and then drive back. It's all good. Life's too short. I like driving. I like driving. I haven't done a lot of flying. Quit my last job and found a starving cat in my house. If I didn't quit my job, my cat Caesar would have died. Yo, see, that, dude, that's wild. What a cool story. <clears throat> I love that name, too. Caesar the Cat. <clears throat> Feel free to ignore this question. Yo, dude, I'm gra grateful to be here and answer this question for you. I've just turned 33, bro. Uh, banana bread. I just turned 33 October 17th. And just trying to, to better my health and, and do better to myself, man. Unto thyself. Oh, do better. Do better to thyself. Don't hurt yourself. Do better. <clears throat> trying my best. Uh, yo, thanks, thanks, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to to you know see where this journey goes. It's gonna get exciting. You know, there's highs and lows. It's a roller coaster, and uh, there's good things to come. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. 1989. That right. That right. <clears throat> no, I know you grew up with this Nickelodeon stuff, man. For real. Seriously appreciate you guys hanging out, man, and, and checking in with me, dude. I know it's been a little while. I've been hurt and upset that I haven't been in here and live way more. So that's all I want to do. I'm a lady and you're cute. Yo, thanks, banana bread loaf. Yo, it made me blush over here. Thanks for the love. Thanks for making me feel cute. I know my lips are all crusty, though. You know, they've been getting all dried out, all cold up here. Thanks, banana bread. Yo, Bill, I'm from the Finger Lakes region in New York, man. Finger Lakes region, New York. It's a cool spot. It's been chill. Yo, Jay, thanks for hanging. I love you guys. You know, I always do this too. I always be like, yo, guys, I'm out of here. And then I'll, I'll be like, oh, by the way. Oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I'm always hanging out because I don't really want to go. You know, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to go, guys. And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I got something to tell you. <laughs> it's really how it goes for me. I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated to, to committing more of my time to this because this is my favorite thing to do. 
I'm extra dedicated to not committing more of my time over to TikTok 100% of the time. Uh, I want to be over here and, and create the connection with you guys over here. It's so important to me uh, to, you know, find myself over here on YouTube a little bit instead of just being a wild ham over on TikTok all the time. <clears throat> so I'm trying to implement all the strategy to work TikTok, work this. I ain't even been worried about Instagram, which is so bad. I need to start getting into a rhythm. I need to figure out something over there because everything's great. You know, we got 170, 165,000 followers, whatever. But uh, it's just, uh, you know, I need to do something different over there. Yo, thanks, Billy. I'm excited to do some different kind of content stuff too, man. You know, uh, I really, really am. I've had like little different ideas and stuff. I'm ex I like doing going through drive throughs and just, uh, even just, you know, we, we had a great, uh, great Facebook reel with my dude down at the Dunkin' Donuts. He's just the coolest guy ever, man. <clears throat> it was just me just saying, I love this guy. Check him out. And just going through the drive-thru and him just being like, hey, he's like a radio announcer and everything. It's just anything like that. I like raw, organic content. But, uh, you know, trying not to feel like you're, you, you, the thing is you, you can't worry about people giving, giving a shit if you're filming and stuff, you know, or like, you know, I never trying to draw attention to myself. And, you know, if I'm live or doing this or that out in public, I feel like I'm trying to, like, you know, like, am I trying to draw attention to myself by doing this? You know, I lay low. I don't, I don't, you know, I love it when people come up and say hi and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, some days I don't want to be seen by the world, you know. So, but just to feel comfortable making content, to not care, you know, it's 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 all out of good heart. Can't give a shit what other people think. Uh, you should try out for America's Got Talent. Yeah. You know, if you guys know the story, man, we were supposed to be on the Jimmy Fallon game show on NBC uh, recently. Uh, we were, I was got casted for it. It's the UK version. Uh, I was supposed to be out in LA a few weeks ago, and, you know, shit happens. I was too messed up. I had a lot going on. I messed up. Mm, I would have been out in California right now, if, probably, uh, if I had been prepared and would have been on top of my game. And... Then we'd be on national television, which is cool. But at the end of the day, it's not everything. It's not. To me, you know, there's people. I'd rather go meet Tim Time Bomb, singer of Rancid, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it's on the agenda. You know, all the haters, everybody who thinks that we're just bringing garbage and everything like that. Wait till I get out there. Wait till I get out to LA, man. I'm hanging out with my boys out there. Uh, from from Water Tower, dude. We're so ready to just crush all the haters, all the nonsense out. I got my, I got a couple bosses behind me, dude. Getting a couple little collaborative jams in. I want some of that content, man. It's common. It's common, dude. My guys are so fire. They're like the the epitome of folk punk with the bluegrass essence. Amazing banjo player, amazing guitarist, amazing vocalist. And they're all about love, sobriety, teamwork. And then guess what? We're going to go meet Tim Time Bomb. So that's going down, dude. Let's focus. My boy Ed, man. He's the next one right there. My boy Ed. I'm just, I'm just been putting it off. I've been creating anxiety inside of myself, waiting to get better, waiting to feel healthy. And uh, that's just part of it. Me getting on here, pumping myself up. It's time to reach out to my boy. Gonna be my main man. What's your backstory? Like, what was your upbringing? Well, if you've heard the song, I missed that '69 trailer where I grew up. So I grew up in uh, the house that my mom's living in. It's just a small, it's a small house, man. It's kind of a sad situation, whatever you want to call it. But and then uh, you know, I moved out of there and it's uh, 13 with my dad in the '69 trailer. I lived with my dad in the '69 trailer all throughout my teenage years until I left when I was just. Uh, 20, 20 years old, I moved up to Oswego to go to college with my high school sweetheart. And then two years uh, after that, uh, I hit the road at 22 to be a full-time busker. And I've been a full-time busker for 11 years. But I've been a busker for almost half my life now. It's amazing. Uh, but the 69 trailer was... was humble uh, humble upbringings <clears throat> and just uh make you appreciate life make you appreciate the outdoors not having the internet didn't have cable for the longest time man I'm just chilling being at home 
really love watching birds. Sit out on the porch, watch birds all day. And had some great jam sessions uh, in that trailer. My dad moved out of the trailer. Uh, and with his girlfriend, I lived there by myself with my dog when, when I was like 18 for like a year. And just the jam sessions that I had up in that in that trailer with my friends, man. The best times. You just never forget that kind of stuff. Up Zanin. That's all I'm telling. Yeah. Store time. Chilling back, drinking the tea, you know it. Yo, what up? Appreciate you, Matt. Love you guys, dude. I appreciate you guys swinging and hanging out with me. I go all night long. But uh, it's been a wild day for me. I mean, I just woke up frantically chopping up reels. I'm trying to get some content around so I can be driving at home. I'm trying to drive this strategy home to keep the train going. I feel like we tapped a little strategy over here with the shorts and the keywords. Drive home what works. Trying to lay up on that. Trying to get back up in my zone here on social media. Try to, I haven't thought about Facebook yet. I work on that, man. I'm trying to come on together. Whee! Big picture. I'm trying. The most exciting thing uh, is, is getting ready to get in the van right now. And, and at least take a short trip, me and Milo. We're going to go down. I need to get some content somewhere else. We go get some content in Ocean City. It's slow there. Not even the bus. Go crabbing. Go catch some blue crabs. I love eating crabs, man. Let's go cook some crabs out of the van. It's one of my favorite things to do. I will go there. We'll scoop up some crabs. Go eat some crabs in the parking lot. Walmart or something like that. Play some banjo. That sounds like fun. At least a little bit. You do go all night. Oh, I love you, baby. You know it. You know it. <clears throat> Wild child. Wild child. You're amazing, and I miss you. Go hard or go home, kid. Meow. Meow. Not bud. So, yeah, it's been my favorite thing today, procrastinating, doing anything I could have been doing. Uh, you know, I have to change over all my, my reoccurring payments to this new card. I did it with Geico today. You know, I've done that. I've had my insurance lapse like that. That's no fun. It's no fun when your insurance lapses. Hmm. I'm getting notices since then. Like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Your license is suspended or whatever you're like what the what <laughs> wait a minute here and so just uh trying to be on top of that make sure your insurance is getting paid because anytime that's ever happened to me it's been completely by accident because i'm just not paying attention uh, if you want to ban i suggest you find harmony uh if you want to ban i suggest you find harmony i wasn't sure if you want to ban I, I i took that like catch a ban or something so i was like that was my first impression like what I suggest you find harmony, like peace. Peace, you're saying. Just like Wenzel, like peace in general. I like harmony within, or harmony, like harmony, singing harmony. Uh, Yo, what up, Galactic? Can you read my comment? It would make my day. It's my dude, Galactic, jumping in, saying, what's up, my brother? What's up, my brother? <clears throat> oh. oh, man, Michael. Uh, many, many years of DUI drug driver. I took her away from me. Dude, my guy. Uh, I didn't know that. Thanks for expressing that. Thanks for expressing that, man. I'm like, sense, be my sensei, bro. All right? Like, I'm whatever one you look up to. Sensei. And sensei is like... A master sensei. It's my guy, dude. I feel it. Felt it right from day one. Yo, what up, Chrissy? Thanks for sliding in. What's up, homie? So I hope you slid in and say, hey, uh, you in just for a second. 53 minutes deep up in this bad boy. Like I said, I'll go all night, but uh, just here to pop in and say hi anyways. All these lips dry up, crust up behind this light, burning up my face behind this camera. It's burning. It's so bright. It's burning my face. For real. I meant to say band. Okay, so band, you find harmony. That's what I was saying. I'm excited to uh, meet some good friends in this world. Definitely excited to shut some of these haters down, you know, with some fire fucking musicians. We'll bring some fire jams. For real. It'd be fun. You know, I'm a one-man band. I do what I do. It's an extension of me. It's been a long time since I got to jam out with some real great musicians, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. I already know I've got some awesome people on my path. My boy Alex down in Arizona. I'm going to be in southern Arizona working uh, solely on the purpose of... of 
creating music and pumping it out and, and creating that brotherhood uh, on like a deeper level. We'll go down there and hang out with him a little bit. We'll do some of that. Go hang out in LA a little bit uh, and, and work on this, man. Work on this, dude. <coughs> Uh, yo, Michael, thanks for sliding in, my good brother. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful a wonderful evening, dude. Thank you for being here, man, swinging in, saying hi. You're the man, brother. Uh, did you just... Oh, okay. You let one rip. Nice, I see. <laughs> Alex is so on top of that. Uh, I lived the year in Okinawa. Uh, I spent during the war. Whoa. That's like Japan, bro. Is that Japan, Okinawa? Uh... I don't know much about it, bro. I don't know much about it. Um, I'm not sure if you, if you served, man. Thank you for serving. Appreciate you. That's uh, one of the things that can happen when we abuse alcohol. It's the truth, dude. It's so true, brother. It can lead to any any kind of scary disaster. Even just knowing you in this world and hearing that from you, man, uh, is something I just needed to hear, bro. For real. Uh, dead serious. Your collection of hats starts to fire. Your music, my friend. Yo, Chrissy, thanks, man. I'm so glad you downloaded the old school Nickelodeon hat. Love that old Marlboro hat, too. Ah. Dun 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 well, I I kind of make this a thing. So the thing is, I fell off, man. Like I said, I fell off. I was kind of hurt, and my heart and soul was hurting a little bit. It was, it was, I haven't been in the best place here. I've been just trying to come off this little bender I found myself in. And uh, trying to get more refocused again on, on content. I had a great birthday week. Uh, I kind of slipped, slipped off after that and uh, started being withdrawn a little bit. So here I am feeling strong right now trying to come back into this game here and have some fun and uh get on the road here man so we'll pop in live tomorrow and we'll see where we're at and uh we'll keep the momentum going dude this is where i want to be i want to be going live and hanging out with you guys dude that's like my favorite thing to do i want to do that more on youtube uh rather than anywhere else man so we can publish the lives make this the essence uh, a big essence of my long form content dude because Trying to keep it simple. Keep it simple and, and create the connection with you guys is uh, the most important thing for me. I don't like it. It's hard. For, you know, the, the old school days are over, man. It's time to just keep things interactive and, and engaged. Short form stuff and to keep the train going. You know, it's the bigger picture. Quit it, brother. Quit it, dude. You know, it's no pressure either, man, either. You know what I'm saying? It's just when you're, when you're ready to stop, you just do it. You go for it, man. When I'm slipping out of it, sometimes I struggle to come to get it right you know I'll make it like through a day sometimes i make it at two o'clock and i'm like holy cow dude I can't believe it's only two o'clock ready for a drink that's scary you know when you can't when you can't stop so just to even just establish to back off to work on it dude just working on its strength from within not beating yourself up too hard when you're failing and just knowing you're strong enough to come out of it and do it when it's right that's the strength. I'm not letting it go too far. The older I get, the easier it is to, to get it right. But, you know, sometimes life gets depressing and confusing. I go through these stages in life, you know, dealing with deeper issues, uh, all sorts of stuff. Money and friendships and, uh, you know, the future, you know, uh, establishing all of this. What is it? Where are we going? Uh, need you guys here with me. I can't fail myself, you know. <clears throat> and uh i'm stronger when, when i'm when i'm not drinking stronger uh more connected with myself and the world you know i'm not so numb mm. trust me i'll go ham i'll go ham like crazy ham and that's my problem so just being able to to recognize it try and struggle for me today even getting off the tiktok live even getting off the tiktok live and feeling that come down i wanted to go chase a drink there for me i felt it, it was a habit and uh hopped on tiktok live hung out for a while got up here uploaded these videos so i can edit some more content uh and then hopped over here dude i've been live all evening it's been my crutch it's been my absolute crutch to not want to drink to be here with you guys and stuff and it's, 
you know, it's great. And it's an easy habit to change, man, once you're really finding the things that, that, that you know, make you happy, that can, that can put you on the right path. So you connect those dots, dude, and you know what they are. You really want it. You just keep, keep going at it. Keep trying. Find yourself in a situation where... Um, I used to start before coffee. Dude, that's all I drink is coffee. I drink a lot of coffee, bro. A lot of coffee. When I'm not drinking, I drink too much coffee. I feel all wired. Not great. Genuine happiness while sober compared to the cycle of toxic stuff. Yeah, that's a great way of putting it, brother. It's a great way of putting it. <clears throat> Even just trying to come off of uh, any everything, man. Everything and anything. Just, just try, I think it's just the search for, for, you know, inner greatness within yourself. You know, like... Shit, I've been smoking weed my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you always wonder, you always ask yourself, like, hey, you know, I hope that just, just, it's gonna, you know, maybe, maybe I'd be able to build stronger connections or stronger relationships in this world. Maybe it stems back to, to my childhood, all sorts of shit. You know, you start thinking deep about everything in life. You always wanna try to just better yourself somehow. <clears throat> I guess. Traps in a position to send you some money. Dude, you don't need to send me any money. I just want you to be here, friend. Uh, I'm at that point in my life where it's so hard to quit that drink. Your music, I'm sure, helps a lot. Yo, I'm sorry if it gets too dark at times. Uh, my poetry helps me. Thank you for being you. Yo, it'd be awesome to, to hear some of your poetry uh, sometime for sure. Uh, but seriously, no, it's not about the money. And it's it's literally about just, just building those connections as friends and, and, you know, opening our hearts together, man. I appreciate that. Social media has helped me do that with you guys. To connect uh, feels great. Uh, but it can be hard. To, it can be hard to put the drink down. That's why this rap song is just dark. It taps into all so much, man. Even just, just it, it's, it's about the past. It's about, you know, it's about when I got my DUI. It's about going through hell a few years ago. And, and just, just the darkness that came out of me in that song. You know, even the chorus is I've been dra drinking and driving and surviving. It's Juice World esque, man. And then just even for Michael to hop on here and say that, you know, he lost his wife to to a drunk driver. All those things are so like the world is so interwoven in like the weirdest like way. It's just so important when you like catch the message, the drift, the context. And by no means it's not glorifying that at all. It's just the darkness that, that comes uh, with it. Yo, what up, Ricky? I drink bitter coffee, you know I love it. Yo, what up, CJ? How much love, bud? Man, I drink a lot of coffee, too. Dude, yo, I'm a Dunkin' Donuts freak. I get out west into the PNW, dude. Like, I be drinking, like, Bigfoot Javas, dude, up there in, like, Seattle and shit, like, all day. I love that place. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, two peace, bro. Yeah, amen, bro. Amen. Thanks for being here, CJ. Thanks for swinging and saying hi. A few nights ago, I saw the lips. Had a different look, but I know what that means, at least to me, because it's happened to me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure uh, if you're talking about my lips. My lips are really dry right now. I can actually tell you why they're like this, dude. I mean, yeah, I haven't put any chapstick on, but it's more than that. It's really uh, the food I've been eating. It's literally the diet. Why? I've been eating fast food for days. Sometimes McDonald's will dry my lips up. If I'm eating those french fries and all that salty-ass food like that, then my lips will, like, uh, have a reaction. It's more of a reaction than it is chap lips, and I've had this happen several times. Uh, it's from eating that fast food shit, dude. Too much of it. And not staying hydrated, obviously. So we're still trying to clean the body up, I guess, you know. I gotta eat that good stuff. Fruits and veggies. I'm going ham on the nasty food, trying to just... That comfort food shit. And it don't ever work out like that. It can be comfort food for a minute. But... And it slows you down. I'm going downstairs and eat some chicken. Mashed potatoes in a little bit. Watch me. We're all connected spiritually. Yo, what up, my brother Fox? You know, one of my good friends, Michael and Carrie Fox, man. What up, brother? Uh, I can't wait. To, when I get out of San Diego, man, we'll hang out with them a little bit. Great friends, man. We'll play some music. Michael will film for us. We got my brother, Michael, up in the San Francisco area next to my girl, Alex. My people. Yeah, you can beat it, Chrissy. You really uh, you really can. Um, and and find the patterns that work, too. And the peace in life, it's all like, you know, it's always a puzzle. Uh, you know, I've been really close to going to meetings here. Uh, and I've been. I've been to them and everything. And I've never gone to a meeting that I didn't actually end up getting something out of that made me feel good spiritually. 
almost every time. I've been to a lot of them, honest to God. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'm still, like, an introvert and stuff, and I, I push away from it sometimes. But I've been to that point where I, I'm looking to build, like, that uh, connection spiritually and uh, just, just community. I need that. Uh, <clears throat> I've definitely have been in an uh, online meeting here the last few days if I hadn't been caught up in just trying to catch up with business and work on social media. <clears throat> Not a big coffee drinker, kind of high strung guy. That guy at work brought me in for thermos of Death Wish coffee. Oh, that stuff's brutal, like, dude. Like, I uh, love me some Death Wish coffee, dude. Thought my heart was gonna explode. It is, dude. Dude, you don't understand. I'll pound the hardest coffee like that all day, man. Uh, I'll drink it black, too, on ice, dude. On ice. With that iced coffee. Black. One of the shots of espresso. That death wish is like, make you grow hair in your chest. I'm a driving fool. So one million miles on the road in this life. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I want mashed potatoes. I want to eat mashed potatoes with you, baby. <clears throat> I, can see, I can see the misshapes. That's what I meant. I was thinking, I can see the mi the mouth shapes. That's what I meant, the mouth shapes. Maybe that's what you're talking about. You know, uh, I think uh, the way you enunciate, this is for any songwriter, anybody who's playing and singing guitar. Yo, what up, brother Ben? What up, broski? Truth is this. Any, any, <clears throat> anybody, uh, you know, singing, just the way that you enunciate vowel sounds, oohs and ahs and e's, and uh, O's and, uh, you know, it's just endless, but it's those vowel sounds that, like, make the words and, and working on that and listening to yourself on playback. Always, oh, excuse me, a good way to grow. And, uh, you know, especially as an artist, I thought that that was, like, I, I thought about it a lot, very hard over the last couple of years. And then I actually heard uh, my, toy, my boy Benjamin Todd from Lost Dog Street Band said something real similar. And I was like, holy shit, man, this guy, we get each other a little bit. It's beautiful. It's, it's really fun with linguistics and, and the way you make sounds with your mouth. What up, my, fr my French brother? Bonjour, mon ami. <clears throat> I uh, wish you all the best, man. Hope to see you the gold man in Ocean City Beat. Dude, I wish I would have been there, Carrie, this, this summer a little bit. But I went there and laid low for, for a weekend. Did some crabbing and stuff. I didn't go live. I didn't do nothing. Just lived in the van. Enjoyed myself. But, uh, you know, I want to go back there and rock the gold man super hard for a couple weeks during the summer, man. And get somebody to film. Get some boss content there. That has set me up for the whole year. We had enough content for the year. If you got to meet Snoop Dogg yet? Nah, man, I didn't get to meet Snoop. Probably, I mean, uh, I don't want to, you know, undercut anything, but I guess the greatest honor, it's it's still an honor even just to have Snoop Dogg share my shit on his Instagram page. You know, that's an honor. I'll take that all day, you know, if that's my clout with uh, with Snoop Dogg. Amen. He, he did it with good intents, or good intent. Uh, uh, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. <clears throat> I took a little French, man. Try. Love to go there sometime. Yo, what up, L.A.? Some of my L.A. brothers right there, dude. Go be out that way. Work, working, playing, learning, loving, living life. I'm uh, making some friends out that way, dude. Jamming with some A-class, awesome guys. Uh, bringing some folk punk, uh, some button folk punk to the scene, dude. I seen Snoop mentioned you is why I asked. Yeah, man. I mean, that was what? That was over a year ago now or a year ago. It was cool, bro. It was real cool. Uh, I wish that he mentioned me again recently. That'd be bomb. But no, I mean, it's that little glory there and that, that moment. It's cool. It's awesome when stuff like that happens to you. Even just the essence of being heard, man. You know, you know, we caught a copyright claim over here for the Red Hot Chili Pepper song. I never sing that song, dude. I must have posted it as a short... An old clip, and I, you know, it's once in a while, I've only gotten a few copyright claims on the songs from artists. We've had it happen for Have You Ever Seen the Rain? For that video with John Fogarty that went viral on TikTok. And uh, it was uh, Lost Dog Street Band I got the copyright claim for, and now Red Hot Chili Peppers. And my own song on YouTube. It's absolutely crazy, for real. The last claim I got was on my own song, Sunshine Equals Me Minus You. That's because of the publishing companies and all that nonsense. So I literally had to go figure that out, you know, and deselect all that garbage that they have rigged against you in there to get 
copyright claimed on your own music? Like, give me a break, dude. It's the most insane thing I've ever heard. The Super Bowl was eight months ago. Yeah, it was right before the Super Bowl, which was tight. It's crazy. Time flies, dude. Time flies so fast. Can't give up now, man. Can't give up now. I'm gonna keep on, keep this train going one way or another. You know, shit, being 33 years old, gotta keep it moving. Uh, I was supposed to start this water bottle sponsorship. Man, baby, I don't know. You can try to talk me into doing it, but otherwise, I don't even care about doing it. I'm about ready to just pass on it. I feel like, whatever. If you burn that bridge, though, it's done. I'm not sure. Maybe some Tom Petty songs soon. Dude, I was trying to bust out uh, Last Dance of Mary Jane earlier today. I used to rip it. I used to play it on the streets even the last year and everything. Dude, all of a sudden, I'm having trouble finding where to play it on the fretboard for me, or even just what harmonica to use. It's not sounding right to me. I feel like I'm like, something's off. I had it honed in perfectly, man. So I don't know. I have to work on it, but I should probably learn some more Tom Petty, dude. It wouldn't hurt. I think that they'd do well uh, in the algorithms and stuff. Oh, there's the what? Uh, there's a couple of his that it would be good ones to do. Free Fallen, maybe, but it just don't really quite vibe right. The other one was, uh, the one that, that I think would vibe right. There's another Tom Petty song that's a real popular one. Um, You Don't Know How It Feels to Be Me. That song would work. It's easy, you know, you learn it. Uh, new to the channel. Yo, what up, Kevin? Thanks for being here, homie. I appreciate you guys uh, swinging and saying hi. Anybody, you know, just turning your notifications on, dude, and swinging up in here just to say hi. Hang out with me for a little while. I love it, man. It really means a lot to me. And uh, I like being live, man. It's my favorite thing to do. So we get on the road. I don't know, like, what the deal is live and drive, you know, if I can put it on, like, outside the windshield or what the deal is. That's, that always hurts me, man. Wish I had somebody hanging out with me so they could just put the camera around me and we could all hang out laugh. That's why I want, like, I'm a, I'm a homeboy next to me. Camera on all the time while I'm driving. We go, whippee, hanging out with Milo. What might happen here coming March and stuff. That would be the way we're going to make it work. Uh, always gonna be haters, I know, brother. Do you study music theory? No, so, you know, I took two semesters of music theory in college, just as, like, side shit, before I want, really wanted to be a musician and everything. It, it helped me. Very basic music theory just helped me, uh, become a better folk artist. It helped me, uh, understand just how to put basic chords together and play different chord combinations, shift keys, and find my voice. Just uh, a lot of subconscious things I picked up from music theory and voice too, taking voice in college. At the end of the day, you know, I never overly pursued music theory or the study of music. Uh, you know, I don't remember how to read music, anything like that. <clears throat> mm, it's like playing folk songs. Yo, thanks, my brother Chris and my boy Rick. Yo, no ride it out. Uh, yo, stay in that train. But yo, thanks, man. Thanks for slinging in, dude. I'm gonna keep this train going. I promise you that, homie. And, uh, it's hard for me. I've been really struggling to come back and go live because I've just been struggling. But my goal has been to just make this a very routine thing and, and get the train going. I need, to, I need to be feeling healthy and good about myself. I am, man. I'm feeling five days better uh, tomorrow than I was five days ago. It's nice to meet you too, Chrissy. I appreciate the real industry. Yo, thanks for swinging in, man. Thanks for turning your, notif your live notifications on or your notifications and coming in and saying hi, dude. And uh, stay strong and be, be, be a homie for real. Uh, always, man. There's a great chance you end up seeming to be wild, man, down the road here, one way or another. This is the way it goes, you know. Sometimes this is the way it is. I've had, I've been judged real hard at times, man. Being real, like, sober, and then, uh, falling off, and then just people being like, oh, you're drinking again? Oh, you're drinking? And just, like, attack you and stuff. And it's just, you know, people can be really judgmental and hurtful. And at the end of the day, you know, it's just, you gotta take it in stride and go with the flow. Other people's opinions don't mean your shirt is like the coat of many colors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Support my cool G. I love it though. I love the knit. I love the knit on it. Next Vegas trip's coming, dude. I'm gonna be rambling across the country soon. Uh, really hoping that, that I can meet somebody to be a friend out there that would wanna film for me, especially if you wanna be a videographer and hang out with me. That would be amazing. Anybody out there, I'm going to bump into somebody and we're going to get it on hard, bro. And uh, we could have a lot of fun. Uh, we could definitely have fun being homies, chilling out in Vegas. And 
getting some solid content in Goldman, too. We need some more crushing Goldman content, dude, anywhere in the country. Just need somebody to film for me. And uh, we can get some Boss Goldman content. We need some funny stuff. We need some funny content. It's been a while. I need to go back in the computer and redig up some of these other old Goldman videos. I could repost them and they'll do great on these platforms. There's a couple of them that have gone viral that I just haven't posted in a while. That'll be worth coming back in and just dropping them back in. Yo, Sensei in the house. Is Sensei the one you look up to is what I'm just trying to say. I don't remember if it's like the Grasshopper and Sensei. Like Sensei's your, your Sensei. Yes, Sensei is my guy. What kind of songs do you recommend for beginners with a guitar, please? Dude, that's a good question, man. I mean, if you want to, like, learn just... Depends on your, well, learning your favorite song, man. Or if you, like, you know... I think the first song I ever learned was, like, Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. Like, Smoke on the Water, like... You know, those like, the classic, like, first songs people learn. But it depends on where you're at with your chords in a lot of ways, man. Learning power chords is not a bad idea. So you can get an idea of just, like, that chord structure before you, like, learn open chords. If you can play open chords, that's good. You know, if you can play some open chords and get all the notes to play when you're playing a G and your D and your E minor and your C and your A minor and your D minor, you know, just, just being able to do that uh, is, is great. You can play any song, any song, pretty much, once you learn those chords and just learn, you know, the basic uh, structure of music. So people say, oh, your songs sound all the same. It's like, no, I'm just taking, you know, music theory. It is music theory. And applying it in a way where you can just kind of transpose songs and, you know, use chords and sing, sing them where they're comfortable for you. And uh, so, you know, just good basic songs, man. Shh, such a good question. Such a good question. I'm like thinking if there's like anything good. <clears throat> I'd say anything with open chords is good. You know, just learning your open chords. Uh, you know, what is what is it? Uh, there's like a there's an infinite amount of songs that have the same chord progression. You know, like G to D to E minor to C. It's my favorite chord progression. I've written tons of songs with that chord progression. It's naturally always been my favorite chord progression ever since I was a teenager. And there's a million songs with that chord progression. It's called like the axle of something or axis, circle of axis or axis something. I don't know what people say. Literally, uh, you can look look that up. There's like songs with the same chords or something. You can literally just learn to play infinite amount of songs, really, uh, with the same chords. It's pretty much where I'm at. Put you on my level. People play the same four notes on acoustic for every song in church. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you know, it's just it's, music is, is infinite. It can be infinitely transposed, man, on so many levels, you know, uh, it doesn't need to be a certain way, you know. Uh, people can be so judgmental on these platforms about it. You know, it's the way I rock things out, man. It's just the way I do things. And, and you know, just because I'm not uh, Michael Jackson one minute and then, uh, you know, uh, Blink-182 the next, it's like, what do you want me to do, dude? I'm butting the busker. I'm not going to change anything for anybody. This is just the way I do shit, right? <laughs> Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it, son. Oh, did I upset you, bud? Did I upset you, bro? Oh, my, my kitty. So if you guys don't know, Milo's coming on the road. He's my boy. He's my road dog. We did it We did it all the way across the country in the car this last year. We did, like, what? Five, five months in the car. I tell you what, he was a little boss. A little boss. He did his time. He's, like, king status now. He's king status. I feed him gourmet. Gourmet food. Gourmet chicken. Half the time, he doesn't even eat it. I was just like a dog going on my guy, Walter. Can't wait to record my catch just like a dog. Can't wait to get on the road and record my catch just like a dog with some, some different versions and stuff. Oh, Sleepers in the Island. People would, so when they walk by, you playing that. Oh, Sleepers the Island. I don't know what that is, bro. Not a clue. Oh, my purring kitty. The fleas just came in. I just had to put this Soresto collar on his neck. So I keep them fleas away. I feel like he's being tortured. Wow, dude, see, I could go all night when I'm, when I'm all manic and stuff. I just have the best time. But, you know, I need to go. Love you guys, man. Thank you for hanging out with me, dude. Thanks for swinging in and saying hi. Let's make this an everyday thing. My thumbnail for this was so ugly. Like, they catch you. They're like, yo, take a picture real quick. I was like, cheese with my cat. 
I'm not good at pictures. I'm not very photogenic. Don't ever expect me to, like, be handsome when I'm trying to take a picture. Unless my hot girlfriend standing next to me. It makes me look good. I'm time traveling from 2036, posting under my nickname, Mike. Yo, what up, Mike? Oh, watch out. Uh, they don't want you to sing anymore. Oh, my God, are you serious? Oh, my God, I'll take, I'll take note. I have a studio if you're ever in Kansas. Yo, Walter, uh, I hope to roll back through Kansas, man. I really want to hit Abby up uh, next time I swing through and connect with the Spoon Lady. I missed her last time through. She's a total boss. She's a legend in my books. Uh, OG. Cat Dog song rocks all, and all alone. Thanks, man. Those are my two bangers. I hope you never get sick of them. Please, you know, I'm going to endlessly post reels of those songs, man. It's my content right now. You know, I, I, I enjoy so much spending time live, posting on social media that, you know, I'm not 100 if I'm 500% focused on writing music and feeling that energy, then I'm going to find a way to get there. But it's also over, over, overly consuming. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm typically doing a bunch of other stuff. Songs come in their natural light. Huntsville, I've been wanting to go check that pitch out for a long time, dude. Gatlinburg, man, I've I've been skeptical about Gatlinburg. I feel like it's a little, like, too uppy class over there. Like, they might not let it fly, but I go to there just to hang out, play some banjo real quick, just get some content, even just to get some footage, uh, you know. If you're not, if you don't have your tip bucket out, I just do it for some footage. Like, come on, tell me I can't be out here playing some music for five minutes, just for fun. I ain't panhandling, I'm not busking, whatever you want to call it. People get that confused, man. They'd be like, "Yo, you panhandling? Panhandler?" It's like, no, dude, panhandling is not, uh, you know, getting tips from busking. Totally different. <clears throat> I'm an island boy. I'm an island boy. I don't think I've ever sang that. Those words have ever came out of my mouth like that. <laughs> Tell your uh, cat the stray cats in the house. Yeah, meow, meow, meow. Yo, what up, stray cat? Yo, stray cat in the house. Thanks for swinging up in, homie. Yo, RG, bro, you didn't need to hit me like that, dude. That was so nice of you, homie. Dude, you didn't need to do that, brother. I'm just, just being along for the ride, man. You ever want to pop a five at me or something, dude? I always appreciate that. But my good brother, dude, thank you for dropping that love on me, bro. I wish that I could, like, hug you, bro, or shake your hand or fucking just friend you. Like, Facebook or something. Like, what is this? <sighs> YouTube's so weird, man. I hope I hope you stick around, brother. Thanks, RG. I hope you stick around. Just just get to be part of the crew with me here, dude. I'm gonna light this fucking house on fire. You know what I'm saying? Yo, my guy. Thanks, brother. Get back to Vegas, bro. All good, dude. I hope I get to see you in Vegas, dude. Seriously, if that's kind of like your home stomping grounds, uh, I'm literally trying to meet friends out there. At least just build connections, dude. Just to know I'll meet some brothers out there. Uh, you know, it's, it's nerve-wracking, dude. It is a little nerve-wracking. Even the comments I've seen today. Oh, see, I got them screenshot. I got a screenshot on this. Shit's scary out there, dude. It's scary out there, and, and it's dangerous. It's dangerous. It really, really is. Uh, you know, I don't want to breathe that negativity in the air, dude, because I won't be fine. I'll go out there fine by myself all day long. RG, MVP. He's my Vegas brother, dude. I hope he's going to be out that direction. I want to meet my homeboy out that way. It's not only your way to play the guitar but the energy that people feel when you play that's the truth man um anto if your name's anthony i don't know if that's my name's anthony brother my name's anthony button that's my real name anthony button you know grew up with the nickname tony so my mom and dad always call me tony uh, my nana and pa call me anthony uh, my girlfriend should call me anthony sometimes <coughs> but yeah feel free to look me up i ain't got no record or anything I'm solid, bro. I'm a good person. Try my best to be. Uh, <laughs> I think it's that. But yeah, it's definitely the energy, man. Uh, you know, I think that's the beauty behind it, brother, is is that in the heart, just the passion, dude. You know, I'm not the best. I humbly say that, man. I know I'm not the best, dude. Shit. I got heart and soul, dude. I got heart and soul, and I put my heart into it. I'll have it, and I'm going to try my best to do it. Uh, and if you put your heart into it, man, just like anything, you put your heart into what you do, well, any facet of life, you'll get something out of it as long as your heart's really in it and it's what you want. You know, striving for that philosophy in life. Let's play hard, bro. You know who played hard was Jesse Stewart, man. Jesse Stewart played real hard. 
on a mandolin. He just went hard, dude. Uh, I tell everyone your name is Anthony. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Uh, rising to the fifth dimension. <laughs> That's what I got. Like, or you're like saying like the five D. Like, oh my god! Like I'm seeing like oh the fifth dimension. Oh my god! You know, string three. I was a physics major. I was a physics major when I started school. I used to love calculus and shit, dude. I actually hated it, but, you know, I was, like, into it. I was into more into, like, the theoretical physical, physics, you know? Like, I loved string theory. I read that book uh, by Brian Greene, uh, The Elegant Universe. I read that in, like, 10th grade. I really fell in love with it, and uh, that was, like, when I decided that's what I wanted to do. I'm gonna get more serious about math and physics. Being a little teenager, ripping up all those bongs all day in the 69 trailer, like... Trying to think I'm going to be like a theoretical physicist over here. If I really wanted to, maybe could have went down that way. You know, I actually spent some time with a quantum uh, quantum, quantum physicist uh, at one of the places up the street here. And we talked like some, some quantum mechanics and stuff for a little while. But it was just, uh, by the time I was in, I was in deep in college, it was like I was so sick of sitting in front of the computer doing engineering stuff and stuff. I just wasn't feeling it. I just wanted to go be a wild child. I didn't have time for all that calculus to homework. But in string theory, they say what? Like, you got, like, 11 dimensions or some shit like that? That's scary. It's crazy. Now, can you explain string theory? Basically, on its, like, most fundamental level. So, like, you know, we see we see atoms as, like, you know, the smallest molecules. We saw atoms as the smallest molecule, molecules for, like, the, the longest time, right? And then, you know, we shrink them down even further. And then you see the atoms are made up of, of different, you know, particles inside. Like electrons and neutrons and, and uh, protons. I'm, like, going back to, like, old school chemistry. I'm too old for this, bro. Too old for this. And so the deal is, man, once you start breaking down the electrons, and you, you can do this with, like, particle accelerators. You smash these particles into each other. And that's when we realize that there's particles that make up the electrons and the neutrons and the protons, you know, so what we think is the smallest, like, particle, we keep breaking shit down, take these particle accelerators and drive these, like, particles into each other, <laughs> and you get these random, like, sequences of, uh, like, of different particles that are, like, that's making and creating new particles, but even just, you know, zooming in, there's just keep shrinking down, so the theory is, you keep going down, if we had a microscope big enough, where we could actually see. It would all come down to like a tiny... Yeah, quarks, man. Yeah, quarks. Thanks for bringing me back, brother. Yeah, quarks are what make up like uh, uh, electrons and neutrons and shit. Like when you break it all down and stuff. Yeah, we're going into the rabbit hole right now. And so then you go down so far into the rabbit hole. And then you just see like this little tiny vibrating string. Like just imagine like... Imagine doing the worm. Like, I don't know about the worm aspect or whatnot, <clears throat> but I guess that's that's string theory, I guess, right? So if we could, we could shrink it down far enough and we'd see a little tiny string. What is it? I don't know. Like a one-dimensional string, like a tiny like vibrating string that creates like the fabric of the universe is like tied together. But in string theory, you know, like, alternating you know alternate universes and, and there's like all these theories that kind of like can mesh in and the one thing that makes the math work with string theory is is the need for like 11 dimensions maybe it's a crack of shit i don't know but i think brian green knows what he's talking about that was like uh <clears throat> yeah it's vibrations that was like uh uh did you take any uh psilocybin no but literally i mean Take way too much in my life, I promise you that. <clears throat> for real. I lost my mind this summer. For a little while. But uh, no, I'm just just hilariously just like where this is like this, this is the stoner's version of uh of string theory. You know how they do like drunk history? It's like this is uh this the stoner's uh physics of uh string theory. <laughs> he knows too much, he's on the same timeline. Wing, wing, wing. Oh my god, like we have to meet. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna oh pizza for dinner in two thousand. Dude, we're gonna link up in the year like two thousand twenty-eight, aren't we? Stay away from Paris in twenty twenty-eight. No, man, don't tell me that. 
Mike from the future, don't let me down, bro. Don't let me down with your infinite wisdom. <clears throat> Back in Colorado. Yo, what up, dude? Uh, he says he digs on the psilocybin. Uh, dude, I stay away. <clears throat> uh, there's been an infinite perspective because something cannot come from nothing. Oh, there we go. Quantum physics theorizes that nothing is actually made up of energy, but absolutely nothing is the absence. <clears throat> Man, I wish I was even smart enough to understand that intelligent comment. <clears throat> I pretend to be. <clears throat> yeah, so, you know, I mean, even just the, you know, I, something, you know, everything starts from something, right? So, you know, the Big Bang Theory, whatever you want to call that. And, you know, do do we really know that the Big Bang Theory is the real deal? No. Nobody knows 100% that the Big Bang Theory is real. You know? We just assume that it is because that's what science says. Now, on the other hand, man, like, if the Big Bang Theory is real, I mean, something had to set that off, right? Whether it was God farting or something, dude. It could be just that stupid. God could have just, like, lifted up his leg and been like, <laughs> boom, Big Bang. He's like, yeah, every time I fart, a new universe comes out of my butt. What about that theory? So, yeah, at the end of the day, I think there's got to be a creator. To be or not to be. Where's the Descartes at? Well, let's get out some Nietzsche or something. Some Play-Doh or some shit. I'm sorry. So, yeah, brother, getting late in Alaska. Yo, man, uh, I hope the weather's not too bad up there, man. hope it's still nice. Um, sorry, I'm so I've been having so much fun just just talking smack and just having fun. Thank you, like Rick and Morty, dude. I was just asking my girl. I was like, man, let's watch some Rick and Morty. I haven't watched much of that show. I just thought it was funny when I watched. I watched it in California uh, a couple summers ago or a couple winters ago. One of my friends and and shit. That was in Southern California. That was out of San Diego. I'd love to see those guys again, man. It's been a while. It's been a hell of a while. Didn't stay there very long. I felt very home and comfortable. And on that note, good night. Yo, welcome to the infinite universe. We're all living in each other's own little crazy world. And my cat's like so confused. He's like, dude, come on, bro. What are you even talking about, dude? He's so done with it. He's so done with it. Thanks for the love, guys. Thanks for this super long live. I love it when I'm just feeling good. I can't wait to hook this solar generator back up. I'm going to be like camping, getting my stuff around tomorrow. Wee, wee. I'll put it in there and uh, get excited. Maybe do some more content here. I don't know. It's been the best night. Uh, I'm going to go down there and eat some of that chicken. Like I shouldn't be. Thanks for the love on the cat. Or why? Thank everybody who comes swinging in tonight. And uh, trust me, you'll get annoyed with me soon enough. Because I'll come in here every single day. Soon enough. But this is the building box. We got to build it up like this. Thanks for spending and hanging out with me a little bit. This is my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. Just about. I can't wait to do it on the road with you guys, man. Especially in the van. Van life, man. Pop up the windows. Turn on the lights. You know. Let's like pop the champagne. But, like, you know, pop the green juice. Sit back. Get my PJs. Cuddle with my cat. And hang out with you guys in the van. Yo, the chicken's gonna be bomb. It's chicken cartlets, man. It's my favorite. Do you have any other hobbies? Dude, my favorite hobbies go live. I guess, like, playing music feels... I guess that's a hobby. It feels like a job a lot of the times. I love it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I like hunting. I like hunting and fishing. I like rambling. Those are really pretty much it. Otherwise, I'm just a loser. It's to myself, man. Uh, yeah, that's probably my biggest thing. I like to watch birds. Pretty good at naming New York birds. It's like my thing. It's like my fetish. In a way. Yo, stay blessed. I love you guys. Yo, James, thanks for sliding in, man. I appreciate you guys. I'm starving. I can't wait to go down there and eat some of this food. Fishing, man. Dude, I hope I get to bump into you guys. I always bring, I'll bring my telescopic rod on the, on the, on the rope. Uh, on some jelly pull. I'll pull that shit out. It's because it's on the rope. You'll probably bring a nice pole, man. I brought I brought my pole in the van to Ocean City, man. I, I can bring my pole. We can test it out, but it's just, it just it takes a lot of extra space if if I want to leave uh, rigged. Tucson, I'm gonna be down that way. Hunting and fishing is life. It is my brother. Uh, I in fact spent way too much time in the woods this year. I'm not. I'm really kind of like it's rut right now. It's rut right now. So you know I could be out there right now grinding away. 
I put my time in big time out there. I stay out there all day, every day, get too into it. Uh, but that's the love of life. I decided this year I was going to step back and focus on other things. I actually just helped my dad. Uh, we just we just ate some venison last night. He got one uh, just, uh, just last week, the week before. Bluegrass and acoustic are a fun trip. Amen. It's cool to see you in Vegas. Yo, my brother Eric, I hope I get to bump into you there again, dude. Thanks for swinging by and saying hi and being here with me on YouTube, man. That's awesome. Uh, stay blessed, guys. Uh, I can't wait to uh, update this uh, picture for this live, if I can. Dude, I was so into corn as a kid. I was like, corn was my favorite band, Slipknot. I was so dark, dude. I was such a dark kid. Uh, I, I show you those teenage dirtbag photos. You die. Some of those TikTok TikToks that I did. It's hilarious. Yo, Oak, Oki in the house. What up, brother? Uh, I probably swing back through that way. I think when I'm traveling across the country, I probably swing back up and go through Tulsa, and I uh, just just hit the Woody Guthrie Center and and uh, the new Bob Dylan Center there. <clears throat> Yo, five o'clock. Yo, my good brother, I hope you have a blessed day. I'm going to peace out here too, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you tomorrow maybe, okay? Let me publish this one. I got to update this picture that I had. The picture's terrible. The picture's terrible. Uh, Jam in Arizona. Maybe I'll take a picture of Milo for this live. I don't feel like we focused enough on him. He's a little king. He... You good, bub? You good? You good? He's like, dude, I'm trying to take a nap. All right, guys. Yo, RG, thanks for the love, man, dude. Thank you uh, for, for that beautiful tip, brother. That was so awesome of you. It was so kind of you, man. And to my other friends here, they just dropped a, you know, a five bomb on me, a dollar on me. Thank you, guys, man. I appreciate it. I never asked for anything from you guys, but I always appreciate the love and support and just having you guys be here hanging out.